Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Libra or a Gemini. Now this is a general message. It may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So let's see what the energy is like for my Virgos dealing with an air sign. Thank you, Spirit. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Whoa, whoa. So that was I'll be back and the hanged man. All right, give me a clear message. Virgos dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. So we have judgment which can talk about reconciliation. And we did just see that I'll be back. But you also have it wasn't me. And that is my compulsive liar card. Okay. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Now the judgment could also talk about someone here has made some sort of final decision. Yeah, I see thief and courthouse. Virgo's dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Do you hope that everybody is well, Virgos? All right, Spirit, give me a message. What's the energy here, show me. So we have the pathway and to me the pathway talks about change and transformation it talks about somebody choosing a new direction so show me going forward we have the family room so for some of you, this may be a family member. It could also be someone you have a family with. But I always say in this family room, this card, you know, the family room is empty. So there may be an energy here of um, abandonment or um, whoever this is, if this is a family member, maybe this is just someone that you ain't messing with, right? Maybe because of some lies that they told, it wasn't me. But this is, I always say that this card, this is someone who will look in your face and tell you, I did not do that. I did not say that. I, whatever it is. And they absolutely did, <laughs> you know. This is a, almost one, I'm hearing the word dangerous. So I don't know. So for some of my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, if this is a romantic situation, give me two cards. Thank you, Spirit. All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you. All right, so we have playfulness. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And then you have soulmate. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. We have codependency at the bottom of the deck, trust, and you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and then you have healing family issues. So what is this for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign? Hold on, guys. Right, I don't know if that lighting is any better, or if there was even anything wrong with it in the first place, but Okay. What do we have here, Spirit? Virgo's dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. What is the pathway and playfulness? We have the Eight of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. The 
Queen of Swords, Three of Swords, Clarify the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords, thank you, the Death card, yeah, alright, uh, Page of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, where's that Eight of Wands that I was picking up, oh, with the Seven of Swords, okay, so there's definitely some kind of deception and lies and some sort of cheating here, um, someone trying to get away with something, Okay, now for some of you, it almost makes me want to say if there's an air sign from your past that may want to come back towards you here, they may come back and tell you that they have changed, right? They've changed their ways, they've transformed, they're a better person now, whatever it may be. Now, I could also say here, Virgos, that if this person was to approach you, you no longer feel the same about this situation. The Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups talks about walking away from something that no longer emotionally fulfills you. OK, um, maybe you've outgrown this person, but I feel like there's someone here who's very much reflecting on some sort of decisions that they made. Someone here may have said something too quickly or they may want to communicate with you. But someone here is heartbroken about either you moving forward, about you cutting them off, about them not being able to communicate here with you or go forward with you. And it kind of feels like um. I don't know if you said something here with the Queen of Swords. Maybe it's that energy where you kind of turn around and told this person, listen, I'm done, you know, for whatever your reasons are. But it's almost like with that Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups and the Death card, it's almost like I said what I said. You wasn't playing. You, you, it's almost this energy. You didn't say something to get a reaction. You said exactly. You spoke your truth. Thank you, Spirit. Death card. Something here is over. Show me going forward. Family room and it wasn't me. Nine of swords. Anxiety and stress and worry. Virgo so dealing with an air sign. Thank you, spirit. Ten of cups. Definitely family here. Definitely a family situation. Now, this could also be that someone here is stressed because maybe they wanted to have a family with you. Maybe they knew that this situation would bring them emotional fulfillment here. But I really feel like there's someone here that either lied about something to family, about having a family. There's, there's something here that someone, yeah, look at that, the moon card and the hermit. Maybe you found out anyway. And maybe that's why you walked away from this situation. Show me more. Nine of Swords. Yeah, wow. Ten of Pentacles. So I don't know if someone here did something for money. Oh, the tower. Ay, ay, ay. This is not, and this, you know, this may be trouble in a home. This may be, you know, a family situation coming to an end. The world card. What is the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles? Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Coming out sideways is a blockage. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, and there's that King of Swords. It's almost like, even if this person wanted to come and make you an offer here, it feels like the offer is blocked. Or this person may be struggling in terms of going forward. But Knight of Cups and the King of Swords, this is taking something to the next level. One card for the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Why is it here? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, something here is too hard. Too difficult. This is carrying a burden. What is the Ten of Wands? The Seven of Cups. 
Now, the Seven of Cups talks about confusion and illusion here. I don't know. You have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if it's too difficult for someone to confuse someone. Or they tried to. Or they tried to create an illusion or keep someone stuck here. Maybe they didn't want you to move forward with that Knight of Pentacles. What is the Ten of Cups and the Tower? Now, for some of you, this person is going to have a tower moment because they are going to see you happy here. If they was trying to stop you from having some kind of emotional fulfillment, some kind of stability with the Ten of Pentacles, it's almost like, show me the Ten of Cups and the Tower. Yeah, the Temperance with the Wheel of Fortune. Something is destined to be yours here, Virgos. You're destined to be happy. Oh, and we had the King of Cups wanting to come in the reverse. This may be someone who is emotionally unstable. What is the Ten of Cups and the Tower? Four of Pentacles, show me more. Yeah, for some of you, it's almost like they want to apologize, but they don't know how to. And for some of you, even though it says soulmate out here, with this two of pentacles, I always look at that eight as this may have been a karmic soulmate. So I would always say, you know, when that comes up, hey, you had to learn something from this situation. Or they did. Ten of cups and the tower. You know, the tower is also this energy of a realization, an epiphany, you know. They may be having some sort of an epiphany that, damn, they could have had it all here with you. Ten of cups. Ten of Pentacles. But this is someone who chose to make this situation difficult. By maybe telling lies. Having secrets. Being a thief. One card. The Ten of Swords. Damn, we have all the Tens over here. Ten, 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 Ten. This person did too much. The Ten of Swords talks about the ultimate betrayal. And again, you know, the Swords does talk about communication. It just makes me think of lies. Lots of lies. Give me one on the Ten of Swords. Two of Wands in the reverse. In the song that I was hearing, I feel like it's by Berries. Yeah, look at the full card. You know, I was hearing, I'm over you. Let's call it a day. I've got news for you. I'm glad we're through. Hip, hip, hooray. So some of you are quite happy to leave this person behind and go on this brand new journey. Some of my Virgos are in the energy of, hey, bring on the new new. Some of you have had enough of this person to the point where you're just like, you know what? Um... Yeah, maybe you're kind of in this energy where I don't see this going anywhere. You know, I wasted time, energy, effort, money on this situation for some of you. And what did it get you? Nothing. Some of you are bored with whoever this is. For some of you, for this person, it's just a missed opportunity. Give me some cards. Seven of Swords, a Death card, the Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. Why is it here, Spirit, and the Pathway? I heard it's final. Present, abundant, and gratitude, nurture, compassion, but then we have change and courage. So you tried, for some of you, you know, it kind of feels like maybe this person kind of wants to have gratitude for the situation now. But I'm not really getting that, to be honest. I'm getting it's almost like, my Virgos, you're looking forward here. You have nurture and compassion. I feel like you really showed this person love for some of you, or they are realizing that you was, you know, um, being your authentic self. But maybe they just wasn't receptive of whatever energy you was trying to give to them. And so you found the courage to walk away. Pathway. Show me more. Yeah, 
the Queen of Swords, she's not afraid to cut people, places and things out of her life. That is no longer serving her. Yeah, freedom. You realise that this person was being fake. Give me two more cards. Yep, Ace of Wands. There's that brand new journey. There's that having the courage to begin again. Or choose a new direction. Yeah, epiphany and breakthrough. Yeah. So some of you realise what this situation was. Now, again, it could be, you know, that this person is having this kind of breakthrough now and they want to have this new beginning with you. But is it too late? Have you already moved on? Give me some cards. Nine of swords, ten of swords, ten of pentacles, ten of cups, ten of wands, seven of cups. Why is it all here? Why is it all here, spirit? You have thoughts and isolating. Yeah, we see that with a nine of swords. Coming out sideways is a blockage. It's the sun card. You have the strength and empowerment. For some of my Virgos, you're too strong for this person. So whether that is that you just have a strong personality, whether you just know how to speak up and stand up for yourself here. Some of you, you can see straight through the BS. Show me more. And for some of you, that coming out sideways is whoever this is, whether they want to approach you or not, they may not have the inner strength to do that. Ten of Wands. Show me more. You have the third eye in clarity. For some of Virgos, you see straight through this person. And then you have lack and doubts. Yeah. Some of you are dealing with someone who is very egotistical. Yeah, deception and temptation. And third party external. So for some of you, you're also dealing with someone who, who like to have third parties. I don't know if they still have them options. Um, but whatever. Bottom of the deck, you have apology and forgiveness. You have higher self-activation and decisions. You have divine timing. Self-love, avoidance and stalemate. Yeah, some of you are avoiding this person because of whatever this um, higher activation. Some of you are in divine feminine, divine masculine energy here. So whoever this is, like I said, energetically doesn't serve you anymore. Show me more. Virgo's dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. You have, I left you before you could leave me. So for some of you dealing with someone who plays games. Obviously, for some of you, they didn't get the reaction that they expected. Maybe they expected you to chase them. You have, I want to feel that way again. I know that I crossed the line with you. Let's see, we have, we need to let each other go and then look what turned over with it. I couldn't let you get too close to me. <clears throat> Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Thank you. So the first one I'm seeing, yeah, epiphany and breakthrough. Look at this, it says you, you see clearly, clairvoyance. And we already have the third eye in clarity out here. Then you have be your true self. So this person is angry that you can see right through them, that you know that they're a liar, that you know that they try to manipulate this situation. Two more cards, thank you, Spirit. Why is it in the reverse? It says guidance, but where will it lead you? But it was in the reverse. Uh, something about seeing the bigger picture and that playfulness. Now, you see, what I'm kind of getting with this card here, 
for some of you, maybe in the past, this person was able to fool you, right? Maybe in the past, it was all fun and games. Maybe with this page of pentacles, you're kind of reflecting back Virgos and in terms of certain decisions that you made when it came to this person. For some of you, you know, with this page of pentacles, they may have broke your heart here, right? But this is someone who may have been offering you very little. But I feel like some of you see very clearly now, or you are going to be seeing very clearly. Yeah, healing from heartache. Give me one more. Thank you, Spirit. You have intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. Yeah, maybe some of you, this is someone who you kind of, you know, maybe... I don't want to say uh, maybe there was some kind of, um, what's the word? Maybe there was alcohol involved or whatever here. Or maybe you was just blinded by love or whatever this energy is. But even, I just feel like someone here is seeing clearly. It's almost like the same kind of vision. Something you see about this person. Uh, what am I missing? One, two. Okay. All right, Spirit, give me some cards for what went wrong in this situation. What is this Seven of Swords? And it wasn't me. What did this air sign do? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Gemini. Maybe you were dealing with a Gemini. Thank you. Ah, for some of you, they don't. If you are, if you have some gifts here, Virgo, like, yeah, look at that. For some of you, this person was married and didn't want you to know. Um, for some of you, if you have certain gifts, like you, like a, um, your psychic or something like that, this person doesn't like that about you. They don't like that you can see straight through them, their lies, their BS. Anything else? My Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Thank you, Spirit. Oops, lots and lots. Anything else? Wow. <laughs> this person is stalking you. <laughs> For some of you, stalking you on your platform. A lot going on here. For some of you, this is someone who is even into the same sex. For some of you, this is a twin flame you're dealing with. All right, let's stop there. So you have twin flames, you have fake pregnancy. That actually was in the reverse. So maybe something isn't fake. So maybe someone here was trying to hide a child or something like that. You have, I love your strength. You're the one I've been looking for. I was trying to please everyone. I just don't feel the same anymore. A child will be born. Destiny says this is not the time for judging. It's the time for healing. Love is the way forward. We have my mama don't like you. Have no fear. Archangel Michael is here. I stalk your social media. Blue car. I want to wake up with you. You have the energy of Libra. They hate that your soul calm, cool and collective. Money from out of nowhere. Let it rain. You have the number three. You have the energy of Sagittarius. Um, which is a judgment energy. You have, I'm in love with everything you do. Teach me how to love. You came the closest. I had to run. I dream about you. I know I'm toxic. Snakes in the grass. You need a walker. I don't know how to tell you. I don't know how to tell you I want to leave. It says sing with me. Congratulations, Virgo, you passed the test. Is this love or lust? I wrote a song about you. When I look at him or her, I only see your face. I drink to forget you. Functioning alcoholic. I'm addicted to drugs. Someone needs professional help. It says Virgo, you're a fighter. Never give up. I can't find the words to say to you. My family don't approve. Jealous. I'm hiding a secret child. You are protected by your grandma. It says, love you, baby. I want to build a foundation with you. They didn't know you was an earth angel. It says, I worship the darkness, karmic female. You, it says, karmic, 
a uh, karmic tried to trap me with a baby. Someone may have very well got trapped with a baby. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know. All right, family room, nine of swords, ten of pentacles. Someone may be worried about having to pay out for a child. You have, you know, my every thought, how? Leo, it says, marry me. It says, I'm married. I wanted to tell you, third party. I don't like the fact that you're spiritual. We have Aquarius. So some of you may be healers. Some of you may be stars. You may have some sort of a platform. You may be in the public eye. You have, you trigger me. You have Gemini. It says, you know, nothing. Jon Snow, it says they do now. It says mind games only last for so long. Death is on its way. Anubis. It says my childhood still haunts me. Pain. I'm ready to work on this. I love you. Red car. Your goons are on a mission. Look out. Pisces. Cancer. Um, yeah. It says I'm walking away. A water sign may be involved in this or someone here just may be very much in their feelings. Um, I'm walking away, Craig David. It says your light gets me through the dark times. It says jail time, temptation, the devil, not today. And then we have the energy of Aries. So that is the energy that I picked up here today, Virgos. If you are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. If anything in the reading did resonate with you, I ask that you do hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.